Welcome to Milwaukee Area Technical College and Cooley Auditorium. Please silence your mobile devices now to prevent any interruptions during our event. Please also take a moment now to find the two exits at the front or back of the auditorium that are closest to your seat. In the case of an emergency, proceed to the nearest safe exit in a calm and orderly manner. Public safety or event leaders will provide instructions should this be necessary. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to historic Cooley Auditorium for tonight's ceremony. I am Dr. Tamika Boone, faculty member in the General Education Academic Pathway. Please turn your attention to the entrance of the auditorium. Now entering the auditorium, please welcome the class of 2021 candidates for graduation.
Now, now joining me on the stage, the distinguished members of the platform party, MATC President Vicki J. Martin, administrators of our community-based organization partners, Adult Learning Center, Dominican Center, Journey House, Literacy Services of Wisconsin, Social Development Commission, UMOS, YWCA Southeast Wisconsin and MATC campuses. Keynote speaker, Dr. Aronica Williams, Director of Community Education, Dr. Valencia Brown, and MATC Dean of General Education, Dr. Sadiq Izahaku. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for the national anthem? Thank you, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Vicki Martin, the 10th president of Milwaukee Area Technical College. Dr. Martin is a champion of access to affordable education greater student success, and enhancing the talent pipeline from high school through post-secondary education. In 2015, she launched the MATC Promise, the free, a free tuition program for eligible students that was the first in Wisconsin. Leading the college with the focus of success for all students, Dr. Martin has guided MATC's implementation of the nationally recognized Guided Pathways Framework and participation in the nation's first regional launch of the Moonshot for Equity, which is aimed at el eliminating higher education equity gaps by 2030. Dr. Martin. Well, thank you, Dr. Boone. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to tonight's celebration of success.
I want to thank all of our special guests here with us. I also want to thank Dr. Aronica Williams, our keynote speaker. Dr. Williams is the Chief Medical Officer for Milwaukee Health Services. We are excited to hear from you. Students, each semester, I am inspired by your remarkable stories of dedication and what this accomplishment really means to you. There's always something special about this celebration. It's probably your passion, your joy, your enthusiasm that makes tonight so special. All of those emotions come from the deep sense of accomplishment that I know you feel. The entire MATC community, our faculty, staff, administrators, board members, and partners, joins me in recognizing and applauding your achievements. Would the family, friends, and guests of the candidate please join me in a round of applause for the class of 2021. Candidates, we are proud of your success in reaching this important step in your educational journey. When we confer your GED or HSED, I hope that you take a moment to think about all that you have achieved that led you here and thank those who helped you along the way. That help comes in part from METC faculty and staff and from our partners, the community-based organizations. Many of you have had the chance to connect to careers and college level courses through our Career Pathways Initiative. Career Pathways help students earn not only their GED or HSED, but also a college credential. Tonight, our Career Pathways students will cross the stage wearing white cords. Congratulations. And students wearing yellow cords are graduating with academic honors. Let's also please congratulate these honor graduates. <laughs> Candidates, the credential you will earn tonight is a stepping stone, one that positions you to move forward in your career and your education. You have learned how to learn and you have invested in your future. Many of you would be the first in your families to go on to college if you chose to do so. As a first generation student myself, I encourage you to consider the opportunity. Maybe someday you could be the president of MATC. The more education you earn, the more power you have to control your destiny. And whether your next step involves a certificate technical diploma, career-focused associate degree, or the path to a bachelor's degree, we stand ready to be your partner. Regardless of where your next step takes you, you have persevered in spite of all the challenges you have faced. You kept pushing yourself when it would have been easy to give up. You have demonstrated you can and will achieve success. For that, we are all so proud of you Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Dr. Sadiq Isahaku, and I am the proud dean of the General Education Academic and Career Pathway at MATC. I am privileged to introduce Dr. Aronica Williams, our keynote speaker. Dr. Williams is a Milwaukee native and the Chief Medical Officer of Milwaukee Health Services, which provides accessible, high-quality primary and related healthcare services with a continuing emphasis on medically underserved families and individuals. She attended Loyola University in New Orleans, where she earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in music theory and performance, and also completed science coursework so she could ultimately attend medical school. Dr. Williams attended medical school at the University of Illinois, Ch Chicago. 
after which she completed a family medical residency at Columbia St. Mary's in Milwaukee. With certification in obstetrical care, after residency, Dr. Williams relocated to Charlotte, North Carolina to begin her clinical practice. However, after seven years, after dedicated after she decided to return to Milwaukee to serve the needs of the community where she was raised. It is now my privilege and honor to welcome our keynote speaker, Dr. Aronica Williams. Good evening. To our graduates, esteemed faculty, family, and friends, it is my pleasure to be with each of you this evening and my honor to address the GED and HSED graduates. When we look around us, there have been so many life-altering events in the recent past. There's so much going on. I mean, let's face it. I'm sure none of us would have imagined that we would be in the middle of a global pandemic. And if that weren't enough, there have been wildfires in the West, hurricanes in the East, an avalanche in the Northwest, and most recently, a tornado in the upper Southeast and one just last night in Minnesota. And those are just the natural events. In the not-so-natural realm, various crimes are registering at alarming rates across the country, schools are not as safe as they once were, and simply put, the hustle and bustle of life seems to have a lot more hustling and way more bustling. It's truly a busy and trying time for most people. But while these trying times may cause some people to be paralyzed by fear and cause them to be stagnant, my earnest hope for you, graduates, is that you would be motivated and moved to action. You see, some of life's most beautiful and remarkable creations have to go through difficulty or endure a hard process to get to their final product. But my message to you this evening is, in the midst of these trying times that we're going through, trust the process. Let me give you an example. Beautiful pottery. Pottery is beautiful at the end, but it doesn't start out that way. It actually starts out as a lump of clay, no form, no shape, pretty meh, and full of bubbles. I'm sure many of us have felt that way at some point in life. Well, maybe not the bubbles part. And perhaps you might feel that way right now as you look forward to what's next in your career. Maybe what you ultimately want to do is not completely formed in your mind, or maybe you don't have it all figured out and you're a little unsure. And for those of you who have never felt that way, you will at some point. Sometimes we question ourselves as we go along our chosen path. We may even think to ourselves, am I really cut out for this? When you feel like that, just remember the clay. Meaning, if you stay on the path, if you stay the course, you too, will have a beautiful outcome at the end. You see, the beautiful end product of pottery that we see on display shelves and in galleries and in museums has to go through a pretty tough process with a special technique. First, the clay gets wedged, a process of rolling and tossing and kneading to make the clay usable, more uniform, and to get those air bubbles out. Then it gets shaped and formed. Now, when we start off on our path, we may feel tossed around, but when we've been on our path for a while, we tend to feel a little bit more comfortable, confident, and things start to take shape. For potters, sometimes when they're shaping the clay into the potter vase or ultimately what it's going to be, sometimes it gets a little lopsided or an unintended dent or crease occurs, but guess what? That potter, they can always start over, and you can too. 
as things are taking shape in your life, if there is a misstep or things didn't turn out the way you intended, you can start over. I'd like to think that there are no mistakes in life, just learning opportunities. Every day is a new, is a new occasion to get things right. Now what you do with that occasion or opportunity is completely up to you. Okay, so back to that creation that we're making. The third step in the development of our beautiful product is trimming the clay. During this step, the potter removes the excess clay and transforms that creation from being too heavy into something that is a pleasure to hold, look at, and use. So it is important for every potter to know how to trim a pot, but it takes real practice to learn that proper technique for trimming so that too much clay is not removed. That trimming process in pottery can be compared to when you are starting to get the hang of your new career. You're learning what works and what doesn't. You're mastering your techniques of your craft. You're picking up speed in your processes and you're becoming efficient. You become that go-to person that others can reference because you've been through your shaping process and the kinks are worked out. But then, there's one final step. You are put to the test. Now remember I mentioned that some of life's most beautiful and remarkable creations have to endure a hard process to get to their final product. Now I know what you're thinking, graduates. You've already been through the wedging, the shaping, and the trimming. Isn't that enough? And I know that was a lot to endure, but to really make sure you know what you're doing out there, you're gonna be put in the fire. The last step in pottery is to solidify the creation, and that's called firing. Firing converts that weak clay into a strong, durable, glass-like form. And it is the most critical part of the process because it is the one thing that makes the clay strong. In your careers and additional courses of study, you will be tested physically and mentally. That testing may come from instructors or your employers or regulatory bodies for licenses that you need to perform your job duties. It may come in the form of competing priorities, like how do you juggle it all at one time or how do you balance work and home? And it may even come from people who don't have your best interest at heart. We call those haters, right? You may literally feel like you were in the fire under fire, in the hot seat, or things are coming at you rapid fire. But whatever the case may be, understand this, that it is all a part of the process. This is the part that is most challenging, but truly makes you strong. Where you have the opportunity to show and prove what you've learned in all of your previous stages and the skills that you have attained. Just think about the process and all of what it took to get to this point tonight at graduation especially for those of you who are returning to school to accomplish this milestone. You see, the mere fact that you are right here, right now, celebrating this milestone of academic completion after everything that you had to go through clearly indicates that you are poised and primed for success. While you may have experienced your own bumps, potholes or detours on the road to this achievement, you stayed persistent in your course, trusted the process, and your family, your instructors, and the community are extremely proud of you for making it to this completion destination. So let's just circle back to where we started. Things are pretty crazy right now in the world that we live in. However, I firmly believe that you have what it takes to make a lasting impact in our community and in our world. You are exactly who and what we need to change the trajectory of the times that we're currently in, and now is the time. For my entrepreneurs, now is the time to implement your bright and innovative business ideas. For those of you who are interested in the medical field, now is the time to create medical advances to help end diseases that currently have no cure. For the educators in the group, now is the time for excited, 
energetic, dedicated educators with fresh eyes and ideas to assist our schools across this country with providing a culturally compassionate education to all students, not just for some. For my techie graduates, now is the time for unparalleled technological advances to actively create a cleaner, healthier, energy efficient environment for all of us. And for the future lawmakers in the graduating class, now, now is the time for new elected officials, law enforcement and judicial officers to create and enforce laws equally and equitably without preference favoring any particular race, sex, creed, or sexual orientation. Graduates, it is your time. There is so much power in this room and your clever and fresh perspective that challenges the status quo is necessary and timely. I will leave you with this Chinese proverb that states that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Today, right now, this is the first step of many for all of you. Your bold and courageous steps into what's next be it pursuing additional education or entering the workforce, may be that necessary motivation to encourage others around you to do the same. Just remember, much like in the example of the clay, the process may be physically or mentally tiring, you may get challenged, and as things are taking shape, you will definitely have to prove yourself. However, success and beauty await at the end if you follow and trust the process. Congratulations on this first of many accomplishments and best wishes in all of your future endeavors. Thank you, Dr. Williams, for your words tonight. It is tradition at commencement ceremonies to have member of the class address the graduates and the audience members. It is now my pleasure to introduce Drewnette Hines and Ersalise O'Connor. Ms. Hines and Ms. O'Connor both received their training through MATC. They will give commencement addresses on behalf of the winter 2021 graduating class. First, Ms. Hines. As I stand here today to say congratulations to all my fellow graduates, I am so grateful to be here, I'm honored for the chance to speak to you all and to have this opportunity. On the behalf of the class of 2021, y'all, we, we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we have had some ups, some downs. We shed some tears. We even had thoughts about giving up. We had some deaths. We had some trials, some tribulations but we push forward in the effort to continue our education. I am proud of myself and I am proud of you all because you did not give up, you did not give in, and you did not allow the world to beat you. <laughs> our role has been long and it has been trying, but that role that we pay for ourselves this day is a bright one. We could continue to push forward in our education. We could continue to push forward in our careers. But one thing I want to leave with you all is never to give up on yourself and always stay encouraged. Be thankful to the ones that pushed you to this point because they had your back no matter what. They stood, the, your, they stood in the presence of your ground when you couldn't even stand in your ground yourself. 
They kept your spirit high when your spirits was low. They even kept you there when you didn't know where you were going to go. So be thankful to the ones who pushed your back. To be thankful for the ones that prayed you through, that cried with you, and to give them a hand as well, because they help you to this point. Now we all can take a deep breath, because our journey has come to one complete end. But don't stop at this hurdle. Don't let this be the end. Continue to push yourself to go even further in life and in your career and in your jobs. Anything you put your mind to do, your mind to do, you're able to accomplish and succeed. Don't let no one tell you that this is it for you. We could go further if we just pull our minds together and get through. This is a great accomplishment for many of us. Some of us never thought we were gonna be here. So give your pet yourself a pat on the back because you did not give up. Oh. Be grateful and glad in your accomplishments and where this road will take us next, no one truly knows. But what I do know is that we should accept and enjoy the achievement that we made because guess what, 2021 class, we made it. Aracelis, Aracelis Ocanas, come on up. Well, good afternoon. Thank you everyone to, who came and all the teachers and instructors. Um, well, to start off, congratulations to everybody who actually is graduating. It was, I know it was hard for everyone. It takes a lot to finish something even when you do have the time to do it, so congratulations. We did it. I'm sure we can all agree that this was a really hard time to graduate from high school, college, anything, with everything that's going on in the world. It was not easy, and it didn't break us, so that's good. We worked very hard to make it to this day, and that hard work will not go to waste, and it didn't. A high school diploma is such an important tool in this world. It opens so many doors and opportunities for everyone. Whether you continue to educate yourself through college, through different programs, it doesn't matter. Graduating is not meant to be an end goal, but a part of the larger journey in life. So wherever the future takes you, let it take you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hines and Ms. O'Connors, for your words this evening. I now invite MATC and agency executive directors or designees to present the certificates or diplomas to their 2021 GED and HSCD candidates. Partners, please wait to hear the name of your agency announced by the roll caller. 
then come to the center stage to present your certificates with their diplomats. Candidates, after you have received your diploma, please return to your seats. When all candidates are reseated, Dr. Martin will officially confer the diplomas. There is one additional request of everyone here. We sincerely and respectfully request that all graduates, their families, and their guests remain with us until the end of the ceremony. Thank you. At this time, will the marshals please bring to the stage the graduates of each agency in the designated order. Okay, the first group to come up is Adult Learning Center. Derlin Her. Tamika Glenn. Lois McCreary. Whitney Bartleson. Elisheva Brown. Okay, the next group with literacy services. Angela Dixon. <laughs> Juliska Karen. <laughs> Donna Edwards. <laughs> Giovannia Harper. Jennifer Hughes. Sierra McDaniel. <laughs> Nettie Vet Cruz. Maya Bennett. Esperanza Cook. Ebony Owens. Shari Lakabu. Michelle Williams. Michelle Davis. Shanta Clark.
Troy Kennedy. Dominique Owsley. Serena Moctezuma. Lilium Lopez. Maricela Paredones. Leomia Tinsley. Tanisha Baker. Tatiana Smith. Donnell Sandlin. Jonar Torres. Ku Hang. Sunsuray Lee. Naisha Jackson. Stacia Benz. Brittany Forbes. Kendra Reddick. Fabiola Montenegro. Micaela Thomas. William Robinson. Shalina Beard. Okay, the next group is Social Development Commission. Antea Williams. Jalisa G. Billy Woods. Jose Herrera. Latrice Jones. Sonia Downey. Miranda Underwood. Victoria Hampton. DeWanda Street. Katrina Smith. Nina Harris. Kenya Richmond.
Christy Brooks. <laughs> Rena Carter. Deborah Finch. Shanice Killebrew. Blaine Manley. Tanya Hall. And Julia Terrell. Vendela Greer. Olivia Jackson. Okay, the next group, Yumos. Jessica Toledo. Asusena Moreno. Imran Ahmad. Tokisha Thomas. <laughs> Renya Rodriguez. Okay, YWCA, please line up. You're next. Luz Gutierrez. Jasmine Flowers. Nakia Hancock. Nancy Madrigal. Jennifer Rivera. Kavina Hickles. Kevin Hickles. Destin Sponholtz. Cassandra Souser. Serge Mokam. Yeah. 
Angela Pouncey. Devon Brown Wilder. McKenya Jefferson. Elda Hernandez Villa. Mabel Blair. Isis Cowan. Michelle Roberson. Christian Malone. Diana Rico. Rogelio Tejada. Akiba Martin. Sharika Bennett. Stephanie Lee. Ashley Gill. Kishana Fortner. Sashe Durham. Ariel Mitchell. Angela Coleman. Said Gentry. Kaeja Thomas. Elizabeth Garcia. Ashley Blanche. Brandy Madlock. Mercedes James. Ashley Spates. Zakima Mills. Alejandro Vasquez. The Fashion next group to line Blair. up is Milwaukee Area Technical College. Either if you're from Walker Square, the downtown location, West Dallas location, South Campus location, please come up. Brianna Wilson. Drewnette Hines. Aricelis Ocanas. Tania Lagman. Dominique Rodriguez. Rosemary Rivera. Marisol Rodriguez. Nan So. Elena Soto. Angelica Valencia. Asia Leonard. Kimberly Peterson. 
Tania Welch. Connie De Jesus. Yamari Ayala. Jesus Alvarez Gonzalez. In Samara Poe. Arturo Alvarado. Sonia Green. Octavio Luciano. Maisha Chambers. Okay, I just want to make sure all graduates had an opportunity to walk across the stage. Was anybody or any agency missed? If you were, please come up now. Okay, thank you. Family, friends, and graduates, we ask that you please stay seated for the conferring of diplomas to allow our graduates to process out of the auditorium. At this time, I would like to ask MATC President Dr. Vicky Martin to return to the podium to confer the diplomas. Will the candidates please rise? <laughs> now, by the authority vested in me by the Wisconsin Technical College System in Milwaukee Area Technical College, the leadership of our partner community-based organizations and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon each of you the GED certificates and high school equivalency diplomas for which you have been certified. Graduates, you may now move the tassels of your caps from the right to the left. Congratulations to each of you. Fellow graduates, congratulations once again on your achievement. Thank you for being part of tonight's graduation ceremony. Tonight is a night you will remember for some time. Will the marshals and ushers take your positions and prepare to lead the graduates from the auditorium? We, we again ask that the audience remain in place until graduates have processed out. I ask the graduates and audience and platform party please rise for the recessional. Thank you and good night.